She said, I am Native American, and Papa has high cheekbones. <laughs> and he has no chest hair, and I have no ass. You, you just you picked all of the stereotypes from the show, yeah. threw them into a pot, and said, here. <laughs> To, to clarify this, the Cherokee Nation uh, criticized Elizabeth Warren for the DNA test that she yeah. took. Uh, so they said, using a DNA test to lay claim to any connection to the Cherokee Nation or any tribal nation, even vaguely, is inappropriate and wrong. <laughs> Very strongly worded. Seems yeah. pretty cut and dry. They're not happy. In, in a turn of events, the representative for the Cherokee Nation in question is actually now under intensive care after an unfortunate incident where, um, in a last ditch attempt to prove her authenticity, Elizabeth Warren scalped him. Oh. Ooh. Man. Yeah. Uh, oh. Just she then gave him, <laughs> she tried to ease the pain by giving him fentanyl, but then she took it back. <laughs> oh, was that Indian giving? Is so here's the chief yeah. running beaver. You racist? I can't believe you Had the that. last laugh when he smothered Warren in smallpox blankets. So good for him. Oh my gosh. Not yes. so good for her. <laughs> for people who don't know, by the way, she's been claiming to be Native American for a long time, uh, something over which uh, Trump and the Republicans have mocked her mercilessly, Both rightly honest. so. And she released this video that she thought would vindicate her cringe warning. This so, is Elizabeth Warren. First is off, Dr. Bustamante that's like in, please. Warren camouflage with that background. He's <laughs> in the direct well, consumer in space, job. including Ancestry.com, 23andMe, and Helix. Way to screw those genome. businesses, yeah. sir. <laughs> five, five segments They're like, don't American mention it. Is there oh. any other There's business I can destroy? Where we believe the error rate is less than one in a thousand. Now, <laughs> the president likes to call my mom a liar. And you. No, what do the yeah. facts say? Or, the facts suggest that you guys absolutely have a Native American ancestor in your pedigree. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they use the term strong evidence, oh by the way. Is that, so the strong evidence. This is where we talk. We need to be We need to be very clear about our words. Yeah. right? We've talked about Me Too. We've talked about rape. Yeah. So strong evidence uh, is that she may be up to and including one in 1,024th Native American. That's this that's, comes from uh, the Boston Globe. That's, that's very little. <laughs> Which sh should be noted is actually far lower than your chances of winning the weekly jackpot at the Choctaw Casino and Resort, according to this Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> Advertisement, which seems oh. tasteless. Like, wh where's that reservation? Is it just a Starbucks? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm 1% Native American, and I'm as white as the driven snow. It, it is less Native American heritage than the average white yeah. American. Yeah. I was just about to say, by those standards, we could all claim it and get government benefits. She, We're good to go. She's less Native American than they allow for standard deviations of lead in your tap water. <laughs> <laughs> And here's something else that's important to know. They didn't even test for Native American DNA, by the way. This is including all Mexican, Peruvian, and Colombian oh my gosh. blood as well. What? Still one in 1,024. She's <laughs> Congratulations, Elizabeth Warren. You've essentially proven that you are the whitest person in America. <laughs> it's whiter than Dove soap. 99.44. <laughs> She's 99.9. <laughs> Old commercials. I love it. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyway, again, the Cherokee Nation, they're not having it. They issued their nope. statement where it said it, uh, it made a mockery of legitimate uses of DNA tests. <laughs> and the guy who's like, he's like, by the way, I conducted this test. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely have one ancestor 50 You, sir, are not welcome <laughs> in our vision quest. You're a dick. <laughs> um, so Warren's been caught in a lie. And I know all the reason that why these are the top five examples of her being a, an absolute uh, racist fraud. Here's what's important about this. I know, I know everyone really doesn't like her, so we'll give you the reasoning here. We'll yeah. list some of the examples that many yeah. of you have probably forgotten. I forgot about one. Number one, I had completely forgotten about until I actually was brought to my attention by Reg, our researcher. What really matters here is that she profited from this lie. Yeah, she played off of for it. For years. And this is, again, why, why, why would she lie? We've talked about it with Me Too movement. <laughs> For the same reason, I guess, Elizabeth Warren lied. Christine Ford could have lied. People lie for all yes. kinds of reasons. Okay, so top five examples. Uh, I guess top five times Elizabeth Warren yeah. acted like a racist yeah. fraud. Uh, number five, she, she, she repeatedly used the heritage as a talking point in political campaigns. So <laughs> the one I love is the story of her mother being discriminated against because she was part... <laughs> this is the My mom clip. and dad uh, were very much in love with each other, and they wanted to get married. And my father's parents said, absolutely not. You can't marry her because she's part Cherokee and she's part Delaware. <laughs> Wait, are you... Are you just rehashing Pocahontas? Is she, <laughs> I think she's rehashing Pocahontas. <laughs> like, and her, that means her dad is 100% a moron and a racist. Yes. 
<laughs> so it's like he's real racist and also an idiot. He's also an idiot. Yeah. But, uh, hit the, speaking of which, hit the notification bell if you're subscribed on YouTube because apparently it doesn't mean anything. Your stuff might not show up in your subscriptions. And uh, join Mug Club for the daily show at lightofcutter.com slash mug club. You get oh. this full hour show every single yeah. day. Uh, which leads us actually right into the next one, uh, reason number four, or I guess example number four. She, what's funny, she actually she doubled down. Yeah. On the native, the heritage. Are we supposed to say Native American? Yeah. Or, I, well, native I don't know. Is fine. Native but is fine. Two spirited. But the point is, she did it. <laughs> Indians. She actually said that her papa had quote high cheekbones, like all the Indians do. My aunt B has walked by that picture aunt at B. least a thousand <laughs> times. Remarked that he that her father, my papa, had <laughs> high papa. cheekbones. Wow like all of the Indians do, because that's how she saw it. And my Racist. uncle, Uncle Redskin, example <laughs> number three, she identified as Native American during her teaching career at Harvard. Uh, this comes from Boston Globe here. Crazy. I think we have this as an overlay. So, but by the way, there's a huge difference uh -huh. between saying I have some Cherokee in my, in my blood, in, right. it, or in my ancestry somewhere, which by the way, most people do. Yeah. And that's because of intermarrying. Yeah. This idea of genocide, actually, they intermarried quite a bit. There are more you know, one sixteenth Cherokee, Comanche, whatever, yeah. Native Americans, partial Native Americans than ever before in the history of this country. But there's a big difference between saying, I might have some Native American blood in me, and, and actually checking the Native American box <laughs> instead of white, <laughs> which is what she did for Harvard. It's the exact opposite of Sean King, who claimed he was the victim of a hate crime because he was black, but then he checked Caucasian when filing the report. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to say I'm Asian. I want to say I'm 100% Japanese. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm a really six foot so? seven, six seven Japanese coming in hot. You <laughs> The hairy chest. You would rule the island, my friend. You're the, the largest Japanese person I've ever seen. They love tall people. I used to work at a Japanese restaurant. They, they used to call me Godzilla. <laughs> I'm dead serious. No, they're like hilarious. I'm not making fun of them. Like a lot of Japanese people would be like, you're so big. Can I climb you? You're so big. <laughs> I think this is... <laughs> okay, here, let's be clear. Uh, Elizabeth Warren is the racist here. And no one. I no was one. telling valid stories. Uh... <laughs> They're great. I want to go to Itch Nissan to go Roku we chat. People, I can people will leave this and say this is racist. Uh, awesome. But the fact is, you <laughs> didn't make money off of stealing from another race of people. No. I was a bus boy and they didn't tip me. <laughs> <laughs> like, not only did I not make money on it, I, I just love being around them. <laughs> <laughs> like Gulliver. All right, let's bring oh us to uh, another example. Uh, Harvard actually reported Warren as a Native American in their federal diversity statistics. The Larvie Tatter <laughs> is being one of the <laughs> first. The Andrew Tatter is being uh, woman, the first woman of color hired at Harvard. What? Harvard, try and do a little better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're going to champion this like the Ricola guy with the horn yeah. in the commercial. Like, she's the first colored woman at Harvard. <laughs> she really well, she's uh, not in person. She's not even on paper. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. <laughs> and then Warren claimed that her ethnicity had, had nothing to do with the university hiring her or giving her tenure. Like, they couldn't even get their story straight. They're like, two kids brought to the principal's office. Like, okay, are we good? Yeah, yeah. All right, Elizabeth. Okay, Harvard. Friends for life. BFFs. And they walk in. And the principal's like, now what happened? She was the first person of color. I have no idea. It didn't even help me at all. Because I'm not colored. And then they just start improv -ing. My paw-paw. My paw-paw. <laughs> they even say, is that even the oddest term? I, I, don't, I think Native Americans probably don't say it. I no. don't know. It's, I, just, it's just more proof that she just rigged the diversity game. We talk about this all the time. It's like, well, well, why would anyone want to be a minority? <laughs> Money right there. Well, look, look. There's actually standards that all the tribes have, and, and most of them say about a quarter. But some yeah. of them will say if you've got one sixteenth yeah. uh, in you, you can claim to be a member of that tribe, and you can get government assistance yeah. and all this other stuff. Remember, she's one in one thousand twenty-four, <laughs> not yeah. one in one thousand twenty-four people. Right. 20, one thousand twenty-four. Do you know how far back you have to go to get to that? She would go in to <laughs> apply for the grant and be laughed off the premises by Johnny yes. Depp. <laughs> yeah. and, and they like they want you decimal be, places for her. And they want you to be part of the community. Like, not to sound like, like a li using liberal words, but like, there is a community. Like, I'm yeah. from near yeah. Native American reservations. It's like, if you're in the community, that's one thing. That's why I think they turn on the DNA thing, because they're like, this is insane. No, no like, do you live with us? Have oh, you okay. suffered yeah, with us? Well, to give you, so this is, the, the I think, the, the prime example. And I had forgotten about this. And then when it was brought up, I was like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe that. I, for, I had forgotten okay. about this. We're going to do this segment. So Elizabeth Warren uh, submitted the, her family Cherokee recipes for a cookbook. It was, it was called Pow Wow Chow. <laughs> And her That's recipes racist. turned out to be plagiarized. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. If this is not proof positive of deliberate deception gaming the system, I don't know what is. Oh, what, what, again, I'm a little murky. How is this not considered cultural appropriation? How is it, we're at a point, how is this not considered cultural? If, if anyone here were to do this and claim something that was complete, you've been accused of it, quarter black, Garrett. Yeah. And yep. you're a quarter black. Yep. You would apply for the grant 
for the, the Native American and the fire work. water money grant like three <laughs> times four times over <laughs> fire water. A full, Corey I don't know how to do this I'm not good at fractions yeah. oh but I God. do know that it's more than one in one thousand <laughs> <laughs> and by the way it's it, she didn't here's uh, the thing all of these things you added up it's not like she acted like she might be one in one twenty thousand one thousand twenty fourth uh, Native American she acted like she grew up steeped in the culture yeah uh, eating yeah. pow wow chow with paw paw smoking peace pipes <laughs> and then we'd watch the we would go over with to our friend's house where they built igloos in the in the winter and watched the sunrise and then th we went through a naming ceremony and I, I cut weight with Matthew Modine and started hallucinating are you just quoting vision quest Shh. they figured me out again she faked an elope like her parents didn't really elope like that she's like my favorite actor is Val Kilmore coyotes say Coyote say Val Kilmer is great. Bum, bum, bum. Like, she's a liar. We bitch about cultural <laughs> appropriation when we, we, we eat tacos. Right? If a white guy opens a taco stand in Austin, yeah. it's going to make it out to the press as cultural appropriation. She pretended to be a race of people for profit. <laughs> Dude, it's true. And it's just, it's amazing. Like, the, the thing is, to me, the arguments that we uh. see from left is, why would it, like, me too. We just talk, why would they yeah. lie? Why would Christine Ford lie? For the same reason, maybe Elizabeth Warren would lie. Maybe for politics, maybe for university promotions. I have no idea. Yeah, you never. Know. It's just, and it's something else crazy too that the left, obviously, we did this video with PragerU, they emphasize sort of the whites' exploitation of Native Americans. But when one of their own does it, they just, they circle the buffalo hunting parties just to protect, it is, it is amazing to me. So hold on a second. This is a woman who lied about an entire race of people. And here's the thing, by the way, she didn't just say like, hey, I'm Native American and I'm proud of that. She said, I'm Native American and Papa has high cheekbones <laughs> and he has no chest hair and I have no ass and we smoke peace pipes and we don't process alcohol well because we don't have the proper genetic ends. Like you, you just, you picked all of the stereotypes from the shelf, yeah. threw them into a pot and said, here, vote for me. <laughs> she doesn't even drive a Jeep Cherokee. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you she hasn't even seen Bone Tomahawk. Anyway, the point oh, again, it, I have it is great, completely inconsistent. And this is why I want to watch political correctness die. The left doesn't care about it. The left, no. If any, any person who gives Elizabeth Warren a pass here, the next time they claim that they're offended by something that you say that it's insensitive or that it's culturally exploitative, just say, no, you know, you get, 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 get the hell, get the hell out of here, I, I, Lumberg. I have some stuff to do today. <laughs> hey there, YouTube viewer. If you like this video, I would say subscribe, hit the notification bell, or watch one of these videos playing in a box that we've personally uploaded and programmed for your viewing pleasure. The problem is now, in today's day and age on YouTube in 2018, any of those three things that you do, any of those three buttons that you click, will take you directly to a Seth Meyers video. So stay here and join Mug. Get off of here. Go to loudwithcutter.com slash mugclub. It's the only safe place you can go and join.